Thank you for visiting our channel. Today I came out to show you guys a brand new product that has been sent to me by W2Com Group. This one is the RKM MK8024 little mini PC and this one is a quad core processor. So let me just go in and show you guys what it comes in it. So first you can see that the box itself is very very little tiny a box itself and at the bottom it has a lot of information that we can go through and see what it have. The first thing I don't want to forget is that this little mini PC is very powerful. It it is running the CPU as RK3188 quad core which is the 28nm and if you go and go next is the GPU which is 2D 3D GPU in Mali 400 MPEG 4 and is clocked at 533 MHz. The iOS on this is the already Android Jelly Bean and this one comes with the 4.1.1 the upgrade already available for 4.2.2. The next thing I just want to let you guys know is the main frequency is already on Cortex A9 and it's up to 1. 1.8 gigahertz. The RAM on this is 2 gigabyte of DDR3. Internal memory is 8 gigabyte and it has the expanded micro SD. You can put up to 32 gigabyte in it. Another part is the Wi-Fi. It is 802.11 GBN. The next thing is the Bluetooth. It's already built in. You can see that the RKM logo is again at the bottom of it and their website and the service information. It is made in China. So let's just open the box and let you guys know what's in it you can see first that there is a little nice looking user manual it is really nicely done it's glossy paper you can see it and they have taken their time and gone through step by step of what you can do with this little mini PC you can hook up your mice and your keyboard and take advantage of this little mini PC so we will just put this aside and you will just open this to see what's coming inside of this so it is little plastic that we take out has a nice little cap on a top that you can take off for the HDMI connector so you can connect this directly to your TV at the back of your TV you can hook it up and you can take advantage of it the connectors that are included to this I just want to let you guys know on the top you can see their logo and on the side you can see their MK8024 little logo on, on the side of it that which one it is if you the little reset button is right over here and then you can see that this one is the micro SD connection that you can connect up to 32 gigabyte this part is the extension so you can extend your keyboard or mice or you want to put a external hard drive hooked up to this also this part is the DC you can uh, power it up and power it down this is a full USB 2 connection which is uh, really handy and we go to the side there's nothing here in the bottom you can see that it has nice looking writings it talks about what are here and this one is the host which is the full USB connection this part is the DC which you can power it up and this part is the OTG which you can connect your keyboard and mice to it and also the little micro SD little logo you can see right here this part you can see that there's nice looking little holes on the side or in the back the for ventilation so you can take advantage of that too so we will just put this aside and now we will see what's inside of the box so this is a foam nothing else and there's a little cardboard that we have to take out we're gonna put this aside also and inside of the box you can see that there is an HDMI connector there is a little HDMI extender so you can hook up your MK8024 on one side and this side you can go to your TV if you have a connection underneath and it's a little bit far so you can power up your MK8024 the next thing it comes with is your power source so you can boot it up now remember this is 5 volt and it takes up to this connector is for the North America so it goes up to 110 volt going into 5 volt so this will boot up to 5 volt this is a micro SD which connects under the back of it and this one goes to your power plug we will put this aside also and the little piece that comes here at this side you can see that this is a micro USB connector and at the back is a full USB 2 so this way you can connect this to the side and you can take advantage of this and you can take advantage of this as another USB source so you can connect your hard drive or you can connect your mice or keyboard to this and you can take advantage of it all right so we just go on into on what's inside of this on the screen this is the boot into RKM MK8024 
Now, after let you guys know, I'm not using any kind of mouse or keyboard. I am using my gyro remote, or another word, it is the air mouse that is called. There you go. As soon as it boots in, you can see right now already that on the top we have it's not full screen. So we have to fix that and I'll be showing you guys in a few seconds how we can do that. So first it has the Google search on the top. Then on the right side, we have the return button. Then after that, we have the home button. So if anywhere you are, you can click on it. It will just take you back home. Then we have anything that you're running in the background. You can just hold it. It will tell you to remove from list or you can just grab it and move it to the right or to the left. It will get rid of it. Also, after that, we have the volume down button or volume up button. After that, we have the power button, so you can just turn it off. It's a really useful button. And also, we have the you can hide the taskbar. You can just click on it, and it will be hide. Or you can hold it and go back up, and it will be coming back. On the right, we have the time. If you click on it, this is a wrong time. It also shows if you're connected to the Wi-Fi or not. You can see these are the pre-loaded apps that are on this. So on the top, we're going to go into apps. And in the apps, there are a few that I installed, which is MX and XBMC. I will get into it in a few minutes. But first, I have to let you guys know it has the APK installer that is already built in. Then browser. Then after that, calculator, calendar, Chrome, browser. Then after that is clock, download. We have the regular email. And then after that, we have the Explorer. We have the gallery. If you have any pictures, you download it from the internet. Gmail email. After that, music player. You can play a bunch of different type of music. Information will be available on what type of music it will play. And also what type of video. This is the video player. After that, we have the talk, which is Google Talk. Settings, we will get into it in a few seconds. And then we have the search. Also, we have the Play Store. So you can install your apps. And now we will be going into settings. So when you launch settings, you can see that it starts with Wi-Fi. You can connect to Wi-Fi, Bluetooth if you have the keyboard, and if you have the mouse, you can use this to hook it up to your Bluetooth if it's Bluetooth enabled. The other part is the Ethernet. If you have the USB one you want to connect to this, you can take advantage of it. Data storage is what you're using in a background. The next part is the USB. It's pretty straightforward when you connect it to the computer. You can take advantage of that. Sound part with the sound little you're hearing that, and also the display part is the font. You can make Make it bigger or smaller biggest part right now is the screen resolution right now we are using the hdmi remember i set it up as a 720p because i'm recording this but you can set it up as 1080p 60 hertz that's the maximum you can go the next part is the screen zoom this makes really sense if you click on this and you zoom in now it makes it full screen. So now we can take advantage of it in full screen. The next part is the screenshot. And this you can have the shutter speed. You have the flash. You don't have flash on this anyways. What we can do is if you want to take a picture of the screenshot, you can just click here and actually put a little button at the on your taskbar and you can just click on it. There you go. It takes a picture of your screen. So that makes a lot of sense to put on. The next part is the storage. Remember, internal storage on this is 8 gigabyte. Has been divided into two. So a 2 gigabyte for the OS and everything. The other part is 6 gigabyte. It's good for your downloads and apps. You can take advantage of it there. The next part is the app section itself. What you have installed. So the next part is the security. You can set up. Uh, so that way it says unknown sources. Put a little check mark. So this stuff that is not available inside of the Android market. You can download it from their website. And install it. This is good for the people that are creating apps. It really helps them out. So make sure you put a check mark. You can install it there too. It will ask you for permission first. Next part is the language. You can put a check mark or you can change the language there. Next part is the backup and reset. We do have other videos on how you can reset your Android devices so you can follow that. But for the rest, you can do a backup using this also. The other part is the time. My time is wrong right now, so I will be fixing that soon. The next part is the accessibility. Right now, it shows that you can take advantage of it. The next part is developer section this is good for people that are creating app they already know about it the last part is the about mini pc so you can take advantage of it by going into system update i should say or rock chip update this is going to be really helping you guys out if there's a game and there's a new update for your cpu itself you want to do a little tweak you can use that if there's an update available next part is the status then legal information the model number you already seen it right here the android version right now that we have on this is 4.1.1 but soon we're going to make another video on how you can update it to 4.2.2 which is already available the next part is the kernel version and then the build number so today i came out to show you guys an unboxing and also a little walkthrough on the os itself of the rkm mk8024 i hope you guys like my video if you do like it click the click the like button subscribe button on the top comment on the bottom always remember to visit our own website which is xedex.info like us on facebook follow us on twitter and thank you